Well, here come the players. England led by four. I was going to say the old sideburns, and uh, but I think we all thought we looked great then. The old shorts were short as well, weren't they? Dave Watson had a big old barnet, didn't he, as well? Terry Max got a little stick on Tash there. Right? So, Sir Trev, we've just watched the, the game back in 1980 when you, you scored and, and set up one. Uh, what are your memories of that day? Uh, well, I think, you know, England, Scotland traditionally was always a, a pretty emotive, passionate affair. I think um, the great thing, you know, when you go t to a game at Hampden, I mean, um, it's probably spot the English fan <laughs> when you're there. Because well, when you travelled on the coach, um, I mean, there was a mass of kilts and uh, the old hats and a few, well, I was going to say ways, but gestures probably is a better thing. As, as we were passing, we came through an era, of course, when most of the, the club players were British as opposed to a lot of overseas. So you, the bragging rights for, you know, England v Scotland Island Wales with the players in the dressing room did, uh, did last for the year then. So, yeah, as far as they were concerned, we, uh, we were going there to get pummeled. Everyone says, yeah, you must feel really intimidated when you play in big stadiums away from home and, and obviously there's nothing more emotive uh, than a full house at Hampton. But you actually don't feel intimidated, you actually feel lifted. This is the place I'd like to play well at. And for me, and uh, you know, there's been lots of a de debate as in recent years, how much does playing Ringland mean to players and whatever. I've got to say, I came through a generation where it was everything really and, uh, and there was nothing better than playing in a game like that, playing well. McDermott to David Johnson, played across that goal there. Mariners up there, nodding it back. Brooking going in there. Brooking a score for England. Suddenly got, got quieter at Amden Park. <laughs> I've never been, uh, you know, too carried away when you kick the score early because I know a lot can happen and in the other 80 odd minutes. But um, it's, it's, it's good because, yeah, the place is heaving, they're rocking, they're looking to try and get early goal. You know, lots of team talks, whether you go to wherever you play, a big ground, big international, what you don't want is concede early because then, you know, you're on the ropes a bit there, uh, flying and, and also, also the fans. So to score early does work in, in your benefit. And the second one was a breakaway. Uh, Dave Johnson got, uh, there was a debate as to whether it hit his arm, I'm, I'm biased and I hit his chest, hit his chest. Oh, but yeah, we, we broke as I'm going across, yeah, I can hear him, I knew where he was in the little back hill. Um, and he, you know, hit the shot, followed up and, and tucked away the second. Oh, Stevie Cobb. And that does give you the cushion then. And, and I think the bragging rights for, you know, England v Scotland Island Wales with the players in the dressing room, did, uh, did last for the year then. So I think at that stage during the second one went in, we, we always felt we were gonna go on and win.